praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 16. Malachi, chapter 3, verse 16. And it says, Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name. Amen. Praise the Lord. And those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. We got two two main subjects in this one verse here. We see twice written in the same verse, talking about those who fear the Lord. And what was done for those who feared the Lord? They, they were written in a book of remembrance. Praise the Lord. What a blessing. And so uh, the fear of the Lord is the key in all of this. We want to be in this book of remembrance, obviously. In Malachi 4, 2, it says, But to you who fear my name, the son of righteousness shall rise with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like stall-fed calves. This is not a literal thing. None of us want to go and grow like a fat cow, but it's a spiritual thing. We'll be so overflowing with spiritual blessings, and we will be uh, shining his light brightly when the son of righteousness, capital S, rises in our hearts. Praise the Lord. It's what the promise he has for those who fear his name. And again, uh, we have the other part of the book in Revelation chapter 3, verse 5. He who overcomes, in other words, gets through all the tests and trials that he's bringing us through by trusting in him, and he finishes his work, shall be clothed in white garments, and I will not blot out his name from the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Praise the Lord. Those who trust him to the end are the ones who will, whose name will not be blotted out of that book and will be blessed. And of course, it's not because we're good enough. It's because we just believe in his work. Praise the Lord. To be in the book of the life is someone who fears the Lord. So the prayer then I believe, would be Psalm 86, verse 11. Teach me or teach us your way, O Lord. We will walk in your truth. Unite our hearts to fear your name. If that's what gets us in the book of life is to fear the Lord, then we want the fear of the Lord. It's the beginning of wisdom. It's a, it's a, it, there's so many blessings about fearing the Lord, which is to know that he knows better than we do to trust him instead of ourselves. That's what fearing the Lord is, knowing that he knows what's best and to honor him and revere him because he deserves it. And so, Lord, we ask again that you would do that. Do us, teach us your way and help us walk in your truth and unite our hearts to fear your name because that is where the blessings come from. And so we thank you for this word today. Thank you that you have us speaking to one another like it is in this verse. And thank you that you're going to finish this work because it's you, you who's got to do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord.